Hello everyone and good morning! Welcome to Let's Do Research with Dr. S. This is Dr. Sarah Namoko and I am your partner in your research journey. In this video, we shall be learning about the purpose and importance of doing survey research design. Now, maybe some of you are curious to know why do we do survey research? Survey research is basically asking people about their knowledge, behavior, opinions, attitudes, perceptions, beliefs, or we are also interested to discover facts. The major purpose of doing survey research is to describe in quantitative descriptions the characteristics, behaviors, and attitudes of a population, and this population could be students, teachers, principals, parents, district leaders, and other specific population. Now, here are some examples of surveys that we know about, what, that we know in our society. For example, a TV commercial would say, 7 out of 10 mothers would prefer milk a brand because of the nutrients that it gives to their toddlers. So, how do these um, company, milk companies determine the number of the percentage of mothers who prefer this kind of milk? It is because of the opinion polls that they conducted. Another one is test scores. For example, the Department of Education is interested to determine the level of achievement, the level of academic achievement of the students in terms of national achievement tests. They do national or local tests of our students. And another thing is we might be interested to determine the students' preferences in terms of subjects or in terms of food that they eat in schools. Another type of survey is reading survey or what are the teaching, the best teaching practices that the students prefer about their teachers or their instructors. Now, these are the different types of survey that we know about. Now, here are some examples of researches that have uh, made use of survey research. Assessing the needs of the parents of students who have individualized education programs. Another is understanding the experiences of teachers during and after the implementation of a professional development workshop. Or tracking the students' attitudes toward going to college and their use of counseling services across multiple years. Take note that in each of these uh, example, uh, research examples, the researcher is interested to survey the perspectives of the respondents related to the subject or related to the problem that was identified in the uh, research project. Another example is comparing the attitudes and experiences of school administrators who have experienced different district-wide education reforms. Or measuring the teacher supply and demand and assessing the areas of future needs or understanding the barriers to parent involvement from parents viewpoints okay now take note also the different verbs the different words that we use when we construct the the titles of survey research according to scholars Survey research is probably the best method available to the social researcher who is interested in collecting original data for describing a population that is too large to observe directly. Okay. Therefore, in this type of research, there is a need for careful probability sampling. I have made a separate video about probability sampling. I hope you will watch that for um, additional learning. And then in this uh, survey, in this research design, a researcher must carefully construct standardized questionnaire. Again, I am preparing, I have prepared another video about uh, constructing standardized questionnaire. I hope you will watch that for further knowledge okay now surveys could be used for descriptive causal research 
or explanatory purposes. They are typically used in studies, in studies that have individual as a unit of analysis, meaning that normally in survey research, we go to individual persons because they are the ones who serve as our respondents or informants to give answer to our research question. Now, what are the different types of survey research? One of that is descriptive research. Descriptive research is used if, if the purpose is to better define or to, to describe an opinion, attitude, or behavior held by a group of people about a particular phenomena. Now, the, the instrument that you will use is a predetermined multiple choice test. Usually, this is, in, this is measured in Likert scale, whether it's a three-point Likert scale, five-point Likert scale, seven-point Likert scale, whatever number or whatever number of points that you use in your Likert scale should always be supported with literature. Doing descriptive research, we usually pre-plan and structure the design so that the information that we collect from our respondents can be statistically inferred to a target population. Okay. Another type of survey research is correlational research. The purpose of correlational research is to determine the strength of the relationship between two variables. Again, it uses a multiple choice test, usually predetermined, and the questionnaire is measured using Likert scale. Another type of survey research is the causal research. The purpose of causal research is to explain the cause and effect relationship between variables. It uses a multiple choice test, predetermined, and it is measured with a Likert scale. Now, what is the difference between a correlational research and causal research? In correlational research, you are just determining the relationship between two variables. You don't determine whether one variable is a cause or the other is the effect. On the other hand, causal research is interested to determine whether one variable causes an effect to the other variable. In causal research, we are interested to understand which of the two variables is the cause and which is the effect. It is important to use this if we are interested to determine the nature of the relationship between the causal variables and the effect variable that is to be predicted. Okay, another type of survey research is exploratory research. The focus of this type of research is to discover the insights, the ideas of, of the respondents as opposed to collecting statistically accurate data. This exploratory research, my dear friends, is used in qualitative research. But for the purpose of describing survey research, we included, we included this here. Now, usually in exploratory research, we use open-ended question. Now, exploratory research as one of the types of survey research is best suited as the beginning of your total research plan. It is most commonly used if you want to further define the company or educational issues that you want to investigate in your research project or you want to identify areas for potential growth or you want to identify or you want to identify the alternative courses of action and prioritizing areas that would later on require statistical research now to recap a survey research is used to describe the characteristics of a population that is too large to study therefore we need careful planning of probability sampling and we need a standardized questionnaire to get this data from our uh, from our respondents 
and the different types of survey research are descriptive, correlational, causal, and exploratory research. Now, I would like to bring you to the different references that I have used in this video tutorial. I hope you have learned something from this video presentation. Thank you very much and bye-bye!